terrifying scary stories. I recently moved into a new house. It's nothing special. Just your average two-story building tucked away at the end of a sleepy suburban street. I found it odd that the rent was so cheap, but I didn't question it much. A bargain's a bargain. From the first night, though, something felt... off. There was a certain chill in the air that the heating couldn't dispel, and the silence seemed too heavy, pressing against my eardrums like an unseen force. I tried to brush it off as the usual unease of sleeping in a new place. But as days turned into weeks, the discomfort persisted. Every night, around 3 a.m., I'd wake up to a faint tapping sound. When I went to check, there was never anything there. Things got weirder. I'd find my belongings not where I left them, as if they'd been subtly moved. But the real turning point was the mirrors. Every time I looked into one, I felt like something was watching me, a presence lurking just out of sight. It was unnerving, but what could I do? I tried to ignore it, convincing myself it was all in my head. Driven by a mix of fear and curiosity, I decided to investigate. The noises, the cold spots, the misplaced items, there had to be an explanation. I started documenting everything, setting up my phone to record at night to catch any sounds. One evening, as I reviewed the footage, I caught something chilling. A whisper, barely audible, repeating a name I didn't recognize. My heart raced as I tried to convince myself it was just interference, but deep down, I knew it was more. I scoured the house, searching every nook and cranny until I found it. A locked door I hadn't noticed before, hidden behind a large old painting in the basement. The door was old, its paint peeling, and it felt ice cold to the touch. I hesitated, every instinct telling me to leave it alone, but I couldn't. I had to know what was behind it. After some effort, the lock clicked open, revealing a small, dust-choked room that felt like stepping into a forgotten memory. The room was empty except for an old, ornate mirror, unlike any I had seen before. The frame was intricately carved with symbols I couldn't understand, and it seemed to absorb the dim light, casting eerie shadows. As I approached, I felt a cold, gripping terror. The air around me thickened, and the faint whispers returned. Now clear and demanding, the mirror, it was speaking. The reflection wasn't my own. Instead, I saw a figure, shadowy and distorted, its eyes hollow pits of despair. The realization hit me like a punch to the gut. The house, the disturbances, they were all connected to this mirror. The entity within it, trapped and anguished had been reaching out to me, feeding off my fear. As our eyes met, the room grew colder, the whispers turned into screams. I wanted to run, but I was frozen, locked in the gaze of the entity. It began to emerge from the mirror, a specter of malice and sorrow, stretching out with hands that were not hands. Desperation kicked in, and I threw the only thing I had at the mirror. My phone. The glass shattered with a sound like the world ending, and suddenly everything stopped. The room was just a room and the screaming was gone. I left the house that night and never looked back. The last I heard it was torn down, but sometimes when I pass by the empty lot, I can still feel the cold and see a flicker in my peripheral vision. I try to convince myself it's just my imagination, but deep down, I know it's not. Sometimes, late at night, I hear the whispers again, calling me back, reminding me that some doors once opened can never be fully closed. Make sure to like and subscribe for more stories.